Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own square brush. And this is the brush that I'm using for a lot of my work nowadays. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off by going ahead and making a brand new 1000 by 1000 pixel canvas at a resolution of 600 pixels per inch with a transparent background. Once you do that, go ahead and make a square using the rectangular selection tool. You can make that square whichever size you want. I'm going to make the square roughly, you know, small size here. And I'll fill it in with the color so you can see it. And this is going to be my brush. So all I have to do is go up to Edit, Define Brush Preset, give it a name. I'll just call this KMS Square Test. And click OK. Then I will make a brand new canvas to test this guy out on. I'll go to make a 5100 by 3300 pixel canvas at 600 pixels per inch resolution. And this square brush is, is fairly generic, right? Where the customizations come in is you go up to the brush options, you click on the folder that contains the brush icon. And what we're going to do is we're going to shape dynamics and we're going to choose pen pressure. Then we're going to adjust the brush shape. I'm going to rotate it roughly about 45 degrees. And I'm going to bring the um, shape of the brush and make it more oval. And I'm going to toggle off or actually turn spacing down to 1%. And this is the brush that you're going to get. So we'll, we just have to reduce the size of this brush to something manageable. And there you go. You've got a beautiful inking brush that you can go ahead and use. And what's really neat about this particular brush, I'm going to go ahead and save it because um, you always want to save your brushes. I'm going to go up to the tool presets option here and I'm going to go to the gearbox and choose new tool preset. And you may get a dialog box that says that hey, we want to save this into your brush panel instead. I always click no, and I'll give it a name. I'll call this one Square Dude. Why not? You can optionally choose to include the color, and you've got this brush. The pro tip here is that you can turn this brush into a pencil brush very quickly. You can set the opacity down to a smaller value, and you get this nice pencil-y looking brush. So you can use one brush for both your pencils and inks just by dropping the opacity down. So that's the quick tip for today. Give that a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.